Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We will continue with our SQL accounting system training. And in today's lesson, I'll talk about GST for deposit. In SQL, you can do deposit in two ways. One is through customer or sales order. The other one is through customer payment direct. Now, let's go to maintain a new customer first. Go to maintain customer. We maintain a new customer called Leslie. Because this is the first time you deal with the customer, so you requ may request him to give you a deposit. And we call it non refundable deposit, which will be deducted from a future invoice. So let's go to customer, customer payment, go to new, we select Leslie. So we call this deposit. GST and the payment is on let's say April 1000 ringgit. So we will go to your bank with the check number of BB. Okay, now you need to remember one thing is take on the non refundable. If you untake, meaning that it's refundable, there's no GST, only non refundable is GST. So we save this transaction. What will happen is when you process GSC 03, you check on the output tax. So you can see that GSD will be charged to your deposit by using tax inclusive formula 6 over 106. Okay, so that's why the payment is 1000, the GST amount is actually 56 ringgit and 60 cents. Now, later on, when there is a sales to this client, let's say we go to sales invoice. New. So we select the customer is Leslie. So invoice is IMV Leslie, for example, and it's dated in August with an item cost 2000 ringgit. Okay. So what you need to do is you must remember to go back to the previous customer payment and look for the payment by Leslie. And you can see that under the UA amount or we call it unapplied amount, there is a outstanding 1000 ringgit meaning that this payment have not not copied any invoice yet so what you need to do is click on it click edit and you can see that the invoice that you just issued just now will appear and just click on this that means you want to knock off with this invoice so let's see what will happen when you process gsc 03 So same things, go into your GSC 03 and check on the output tax. So you can see that system will charge GSC to this invoice lastly, but at the same time, system will also deduct the GST amount from the previous lastly payment. So system will not double charge GST, but will automatically help you to handle the GST charge on deposit. So this is how easy you use SQL accounting system to handle the GST for deposit. Now, if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page and you can get all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting system. If you want to refer to other SQL tutorial video, simply go to syntax.com.my Click on YouTube and here you go, it's all my SQL tutorial video. That's all for today and once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.